Long-term watchers of this channel will have noticed how I strictly avoid Imperial units on this channel. The Imperial system is the system of units first defined by the British Weights and Measurements Act of 1824. Developed over hundreds of years, it tries to use everyday objects as units for measurement. I'm confident any viewer of this channel is familiar with both the Imperial system and the metric system. Let's start with an overview of the Imperial units. For distance, starting with the inch, which was originally derived from the human thumb, Obviously, the width of human thumb varies from human to human, which is why it was later redefined as 1 36th of a yard, or 0.0254 meters. Next, we have the foot, which is 12 inches and a third of a yard, equal to 0.3048 meters. The foot is originally based upon, you guessed it, a foot. Then we have the yard, which is 3 feet and equal to 0.9144 meters. Where the yard originates from isn't even known. Then 1760 yards is 1 mile. The mile equals 1609.344 meters and is dated back all the way to the Roman Empire, where it was defined as a thousand paces as measured by every other step. If these conversions of 12, 3, 1760 aren't confusing enough, let's get a taste of the weight units. So first off we have the ounce, which is 1 16th of a pound, which is 28.3 grams. Then 16 ounces is a pound, which is legally defined as exactly 0 0.4535923737 kilograms. Then 2240 pounds is equal to 1 imperial ton. Not to confuse imperial with metric tons, which are 1000 kilograms or 2205 pounds. For volume we have pins equal to 568 milliliters, and 8 pins is a gallon. You get the point, conversions aren't exactly the system's strongest point. Now there's one unit in this system that's particularly interesting, that one's Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit's a temperature scale basing the absolute zero upon a cold winter in Koningsberg, minus 17.78 degrees Celsius. Then they measured the human body temperature and called it 100. At this scale water melts at 32 degrees and boils at 212. Absolute zero is minus 459.76 degrees. And so there are tons of units, imperial tons that is, in the imperial system. With all this inconvenience attached to using the imperial system, we should ask ourselves why Myanmar, the United States of America and Liberia don't update it to metric. Well America tried, but they made the switch voluntarily, so of course everyone refused it. Liberia uses the USCS system, which is a whole other system, and Myanmar uses imperial. But both countries have officially adopted SI and should at least be considered dual unit now. Myanmar especially is a good way to full conversion. And even then, nowadays the imperial units are defined by the corresponding SI value. So even if you use the imperial system, you're kind of already using SI. And that's the imperial system and its current status in modern society. 